Hey there, and welcome to the Beneath the Crown series featuring Senior Elite. Uh, JTV and Tier Extreme are really excited to bring our fans and those of you that subscribe to the channel a, a very inside look. Um, we have spent the last decade or more um, crafting uh, episodes and highlight reels to showcase exactly what our kids do when they're at their best. Uh, but in this day and age, when everybody puts out on social media just exactly with filters and with descriptions and their very best pictures, uh, we think it's time to just be real. You know, we, we pride ourselves in our kids' ability to, to hit when it counts and to put all the pieces together and show off their technicality and their uh, great execution. Um, but the reality is it's, it's a very much an uphill battle. And we want to identify with our younger uh, fans out there, those of you that are aspiring to be world's level athletes one day, and show you that these kids have the same kind of, of struggles and the same kind of adversities and have to overcome the same things that you do at all levels at your league. Uh, this, this particular Senior Elite team, 2016-2017, is, is a new generation of athletes, many of whom have been with us from minis all the way up till now. They've grown up at Cheer Extreme. Uh, they're a very young team. I think our average age is younger than it has been in years past, but they are easily the most driven, focused, and unified team I've ever coached. Uh, that being said, we've had a heart-to-heart -heart with our team and discussed the, the pros and cons of doing a series like this. Obviously, you know, they're, they're still little kids and some of them uh, are a little bit concerned about showing them their moments not at their best, but I think that's what identifies them and makes them human uh, just like we all are. We all make mistakes. It's, it's how you get back up from them and recover that really sets you apart, makes you a champion. So we would ask those of you that feel the need to, in, to comment to do so in an encouraging way. You're certainly entitled to your opinion, but just remember that the kids are reading these comments too and if they're going to be courageous enough to show their moments, highs and lows, just, just be courageous enough to, to write encouraging comments. Okay. One really cool thing we're able to do with the Beneath the Crown series is allow an inside look at what the kids' lives are like outside of the gym. So one at a time this season, the, the girls are going to be, you're going to get to meet some of them, their daily lives at their house, on their way to the gym, what they do outside of the gym to get ready for cheerleading, what they do outside of the gym that has nothing to do with cheerleading. Uh, I, we love these kids and we hope you will too. I'm Courtney Smith-Pope, and you're watching Beneath the Crown.
So let's just watch how you start. Let's just. Okay. So she's all in the front. Oh, Carly. But we're not, we are not going to go front stretch, randomly turn the quarter turn, and then do a normal high to high. It's supposed to be a quarter turning TikTok because it's harder than just a regular TikTok. So Skylar's going to go again. Mary Kate's going to go again. Haley's going to go again. Those are the three that are doing it correctly. Okay. Good job, Carly. Ankle one, two, and three, four, a five, seven, eight, one. Good. Hold it. Can't you tell when you're off? Yeah. Here, your feet have to be touching. They can't not be touching. The leg that has to go around needs to go just a little bit sooner than the one she has to stand on. Sometimes you jack up the foot she's got to spin onto, and the other one gets left behind. It's not a whole count, it's like a tenth of a count. So it dips and needs to take off, take off. <laughs> Hi, my name is Bethany Thompson. 
So whenever I was younger, I figured out that I was a lot stronger than most of the girls my age. And so I decided to do something with it. I decided to go into competitive cheerleading and try to lift people by myself and do something that people don't normally see done by girls. So I just decided to take it to where I could do some more workouts and learn that I can pick up things that just aren't people. So I wanted to give that insight to y'all and show y'all that it's not just stuff at the gym. You can use stuff at home and you can flip tires and you can do whatever you want to do just to help yourself get more strength involved in all of your stuff with cheerleading. Um, some of the people that I have over at my house a lot are my co-ed partner, Chelsea. She has she knows where I live. She could get there with a blindfold on. Um, she is always over at my house. She stayed over at my house for weeks and weeks at a time. And we just go outside and stunt. And sometimes it works and most of the time it doesn't. But sometimes you just have to try things at home. And my dad really helps with like spotting and making sure nobody hits the ground. And then my mom most of the time just records and makes sure that I can see what I've done wrong or see what I could fix and do better and so they really helped push me to be who I am today. And on my downtime um, I really like to eat and play with my dogs and just watch TV or whatever else is at home and lay, lay in the bed, lay on the couch, be lazy. This year on Senior Elite we're going to be traveling everywhere so if you see us just make sure you come around and say hi.
I was, I was celebrating her new Trump music, and I was like, oh, I have no idea. The whole tic tac toe deal needs to scoot up so they're not sprinting. I have to go last pass. Good job, girl. Come on, Sierra, you got it. Come on, Sierra, you got it. Come on, Sierra, you got it.
We have a pulled hamstring. We have a torn shoulder. We have another torn shoulder. Let's laugh before we go. Yeah, you are. Yeah, you are. Yeah, you are. Yeah, you are.